what is the internal rate of return internal rate of return is basically the discount rate at which npv of the project will be zero it means the npv of cash inflows will be equal to npv of cash outflows but how irr is useful in decision making if irr is greater than cutoff rate then the result is positive and if irr is less than cutoff rate then the result is negative it means if the irr is greater than cutoff rate then you can go ahead with the project and if it is less than that you should not go ahead with the project so how can we calculate irr there are two approaches if you have uniform cash flow then that cash flow is called as annuity and if you multiply by annuity discount factor for the life period you will get the irr and if you have uneven cash flow then you have to follow something called trial and error method trial and error method is a complex method but before going to that let's see what is the annuity method in irr in annuity method in irr you will have investment on the left side and on the right side you will have annual net cash flow multiplied by annuity discount factor so with this you will be able to find out what is the exact irr this annuity discount factor you will be able to take from annuity table by looking at the number of period so that you will get the exact rate of interest and that is called the irr so this is the case when you have uniform cash flows but what will be the case when you have uneven cash flows so we'll see uneven cash flow irr in case of uneven cash flows irr will be calculated using trial and error method and that follows interpolation let's take an example let's say we have made an investment of 136 and that's going to give cash inflows say in year 1 it is 30000 in year 2 it is 40 year 3 it is 60 year 4 it is 30 and year 5 it is 20000 so here you note that cash flows are uneven so let's take an average cash flow per year so for all the five years we'll sum up and we'll divide them by 5 and that's going to give us 36000 so with this information we have to find something called factor what is factor factor is investment divided by average cash flow per year so we'll have that factor is equal to investment divided by average cash flow and it is 136000 divided by 36000 and we have it as 3.78 so now we should go to the present value table and for 5 years period we should look at this 3.78 where does it figure it so let's go to pv table and we look at 5 years table and we'll look at the 5 years column so that we'll find 3.78 somewhere at 10% but not exactly 3.78 it's a number close to 3.78 it's not exact 3.78 so it is somewhere at 10% so we'll assume the 10% as as irr and we'll calculate the discounting factor at 10% for the 5 years that is 1 divided by 1 plus i to the power of n that is 1 divided by 1.1 to the power of 1 2 3 4 5 and that would give us these values now we'll find the present value so 30000 multiplied by 0.909 40000 multiplied by 0.826 in this way we have to do it for all the five years and we have the figures here now now we'll we'll take the total of all this and that's giving us pv as 138280 what is the concept of irr in irr the npv of inflows will be equal to NPV of outflow. Here, the NPV of outflow is one lakh thirty six, whereas the NPV of inflow is, or say the present value of inflow is one lakh thirty eight. So here, the present value is greater than the cost of investment. So this is not the IRR. So it means the ten percent is not the IRR. So we'll try to look for a slightly higher rate. We'll try to look for a slightly higher rate. So we'll take discount at twelve percent. and we'll have the discount factors for 5 years so we have the factors now and that should be multiplied with the values so 30000 multiplied by 0.893 40000 multiplied by 0.797 and so we get the values and the total is now 1,31,810 here if you look at the pv is less than cost of investment 
so what do you understand is at irr the inflows will be equal to outflow so when you take 10% it is greater than the investment and when you take 12% it is less than the investment it means the irr is somewhere between 10 to 12% we have to find out at what point this IRR is lying for that we have to make a separate calculation. We'll do that. When we have taken discount at 10%, the PV was 138.280 and at 12% it was 131.810. It means IRR is lying between them. So we can calculate them by using an interpolation. So where did we start it? We started with 10%. So we'll start with that. So it is 10% plus. Now what we should do is we have to find the difference between these two. So it should start with 138 to 80. 138 to 80 minus the cost of investment which is 136,000. And we have to divide by the difference between the discount at 10% and 12% which is 138,280 and 131,810. So close the brackets and multiply by 2. So now you will get 10 plus some values and that's going to tell you IRR is 10.7%. So by interpolation we have found that IRR is 10.7% and the formula here what we have used is we have taken the base rate which was 10% and here we have compared the value of 10% with the investment and we here on the denominator we have taken the difference between the 10% and 12% and we have multiplied by 2 and that had given the value which is in addition to 10% and that's what 10 plus 0.7 so 10.7% is the IRR. On this topic do check our comprehensive online course I have given the link in the description below if you like this video lecture do not forget to click on that like share and subscribe button with bell icon